All right, Lone Man Lookout. We are coming down from Lone Man Lookout and actually we're walking along the South Boundary Trail. Um, once again, this is another Hike 734 hike, not necessarily how you would probably do it, but um, anyways, you start out by fording the Middle Fork. You go up um, over by the Nyack Ford is what I would recommend. And then, um, yeah, the direction that we took was we went up to Lone Man Lookout. We came and walked along the South Boundary Trail and came out by the Lincoln Creek Ford. So um, let's get talking about this thing. Um, Lone Man Lookout is a cool lookout in the southern portion of the park. And it's uh, really, um, it was surprising to me. You know, you start out in the, um, in kind of this uh, lower area. It wasn't, um, it's been burned in there. So the nice fun thing about this is that you, you end up getting views pretty much the entire way up. And so you spend most of your time overlooking the middle fork and it's just super pretty. And then as you get up, you go into um, what they call the middle fork um, as far as the mountains, like where a lot of my friends ski and what have you. But um, yeah, and then, then you start to turn the corner and get higher up and it gets more into some more of the burn area. And, um, and you know, we're doing this in the fall. So it is just beautiful with all the colors changing and everything. Finally, we get up, start to get up high and the views start getting ridiculous. And then finally, we make it all the way up to the top. And um, yeah, definitely um, not what I was expecting. I was expecting to see more of like a lot, a lot more of a southerly view. But man, you get to look down on Harrison Lake and then you just get to see the sea of peaks. You can see all the way, way up into the North Fork. And then you can see in the whole Cole Nyack region with Mount Stimson and St. Nicholas. and. Jackson, it's just great. You just get a lot of really cool epic views and you know the lookout itself looks like your typical lookout. So um, you know that's pretty sweet. And then um, the whole thing, the grade is a pretty forgiving grade. It's not, you know, it's um, five and a half miles up from the junction, 3,000 feet elevation gain. So it's not anything super crazy. Um, so it's in, it's a pretty good day with the with the river ford obviously because you have to ford the river it's not an early season unless you get boated across but um anyway so then we came back down and we started hiking the boundary trail and it was actually really cool um i was kind of surprised i was expecting some overgrown kind of gross little deal but we ended up um, walking and it starts out in the burned area with uh, once again those good looking views into the water and then it, the trees just kind of start getting a little bit more dense and but the trail's actually in really good shape for what i was expecting and then um came down by the old harrison junction and i'm going to show off this the duty cabin again which is a real fun story and then uh after the duty cabin then um we uh, ran into we heard elk bugling while we were there and that's awesome and exciting in the fall and, and we got to see this cow and there she is just hanging out and she was really actually a very big cow and a big cow elk. So anyways, we just continued to walk and that's what we're doing right now. Phil's with me. We had a couple of others, um, but they took the car out where they, where we put in by the Nyack. And then we're going to hang out over by Lincoln Creek. So um, yeah, just more of this. I'm going to go ahead and quickly swing around here and show you, you know, we're kind of in a burn area behind me. Um, but yeah, just you can see over my shoulder, the fall colors are really fantastic. So um, just using this as an excuse that, man, just because it's September doesn't mean that you can't be in Glacier. I'll tell you that much. So anyways, this is a Lone Man Lookout with a little South Boundary Trail down to Lincoln Creek. That's my story.